28, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,364 to bring the fire prevention secretary position to a 40 hour per week full-time status. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the hiring is complete or by March 31, 2017, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. No warrant article figure presented is for 39 weeks from April 1 to December 31, 2016. The annual cost thereafter is $60,486. This article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4 to 1. Recommended by the Budget Committee 11 to 3. The fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $45,364 is 1.6 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 28? Moved by Mr. Bridal, uh, seconded by Mr. Waddell. Um, is there someone who would like to speak to Article 28? I fully support this article. However, I'd like the uh, Fire Chief to get up and speak on it, please. All right. Chief Ayotte, would you like to be heard on Article 28? Yes, Ms. Palmer, please. Thank you very much, Jamie Ayotte, Fire Chief Hampton. I would like to uh, start by saying that most of you recognize us when you call for service, and I hope that you never do. But if you call for service and you dial 911, you see a fire engine or you see an ambulance, and we come to assist you and solve your problems. Uh, what most people don't see is the business office, and our business office is fire prevention. Uh, currently, our fire prevention office conducts uh, inspections. They do permits for assembly. Um, we are making sure that the, the scenes are safe all around the town when there's construction being built. We are also uh, working in concert with the building department to make sure that all of the fire prevention and fire alarm, fire sprinkler materials are going in. The position of fire prevention secretary is the lead for this office. Currently, we're closed 20%, uh, 50 percent of the time. Uh, the office is dark. The fire prevention secretary is responsible for taking in all of the uh, receivables for permitting fees. Um, she manages the accounts. They are scheduled for inspections. There's a whole host of tasks that go along with that. Uh, in the world of fire prevention, we're dealing with addresses. And there's site uh, files that must be maintained and categorized. It's the position of this department. Um, I'm sorry, it's this department's position to, to maintain those records. Uh, all the necessary reporting goes through to the state. This position is vital, especially in, compar in uh, looking at our business model. Any contractors, any builders in town, their first face when they come through the door is to see our fire prevention secretary to do and conduct their business. And they work on a, on a normal business schedule. Unfortunately, they're only able to come in during our half-time business hours. I support this article because I believe that this is an exceptionally needed position to go full-time so that we can actually conduct business um, during the time that most other uh, contractors are working. I'll be happy to entertain any questions. Thank you, Chief Ayotte. Thank you. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Lassar? Good afternoon. Keith Lassard, Mill Road, Hampton. I rise in support of um, the fire department getting a full-time secretarial position. Um, this is a really needed position. At one time, we had a full-time secretary, and during the budget cutbacks to slow down the economy, maybe it was justified to reduce this position or eliminate it. I'm glad it was brought back at halftime, but it's now time to make this a full-time position. Um, it just helps everybody in the community. A lot of people don't in the community don't interface um, with this department. I interface with this department pretty regularly, and. Um, once the secretary was reintroduced, um, it certainly made the whole operation go much smoother. Um, contractors have some, a person to go to, um, to work with. People that have events have someone that can help with the um, fire protection, make sure everything's safe. Uh, it's a gatekeeper for fire protection. I, I just believe this needs to be a full-time position, um, and we'll just continue to um, support the excellent job of the fire. Does. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lassard. Uh, Ms. Bridal. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Nick Bridal, 225 Tool Farm Road. Um, on the Budget Committee, I, I fully supported this, uh, this Warren article. Um, some of the stuff, I asked the Chief in depth, and I stopped by and talked to the, the Fire Prevention Secretary as well, and I, I asked, like, 
give me a kind of a general overview of, of what they do. And the permitting and plans reviewed, fire code inspection reports, fire code inspections, assembly permits, fireworks inspections, public education, as far as our students getting reached, an investigation of fires in the town. Um, there is a lot of, of material that this job handles, this job entails. Uh, as far as education goes, we reached 458 students this year as, as far as the fire prevention office was concerned. Um, from what I understand, that was a dramatic increase from the year before. Um, there was a lot of revenue that this department took in. Not that that should be reflective of somebody's pay, but it is reflective of the workload. that has come into this position. Um, where we don't have a fire inspector position in this town, um, that bureau is also taking under those responsibilities as well. And I know that the fire prevention officer is doing a wonderful job keeping up, but I also know that the fire chief and deputy chief have been help augmenting their, um, their inspections and their uh, assembly permit investigations. Um, the scheduling of all these ins inspections, so that way all three of these guys are working together, working seamlessly, working effectively and efficiently, um, is strenuous in and of itself. I fully support this uh, position and this Warren article, and I encourage you to do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bridal. Anyone else wish you to be heard? Yes, sir. Hi, my name is John Kane. I live at 115 Ocean Boulevard, Hampton Beach. Um, the amount of building that's going on at the beach and in town is unprecedented as long as I've been here. Um, it takes a lot of work to, as the prior gentleman just spoke about, to review all of the plans, make sure all the codes are up to par, and what we want to do is to make sure it's easy to build in the town of Hampton. Uh, so that the builders aren't hung up, they want to continue to build. We attract new pe people because the you know the affordability aspect of it, and the fire department at this point in time, from what I see, is understaffed, uh, and would definitely uh, behoove us to have another person in there trying to get the paperwork done for the chief and uh, the fire prevention office. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. King. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 28? Seeing none. Article 28 will appear on the ballot as printed.